dare you threaten me? What's going on here? They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid I Ayo. <laughs> well done. Akio. Child. How long are we doing this, then? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Tiger! Reduction! can hold them off! Prepare. I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this student off of my dead body! just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things. Best get moving on my wrist. You're a researcher? Merlin? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixture. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I... I... I can see why you're so interested. No, I... I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. <laughs> Repairer! Incendio! The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Repairer. Incendio! Clearly, 
all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. Incendio. It seems the pyres sink if you don't light the others quickly enough. Protego! Incendio! Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, you should feel my... And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Repair all. Incendio. Repairer. Accio. Repairer. dangerous if I'm not careful. Repairer. Repair all. Incendio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Repair all.
Repair her. Repair her. Incendio. Smell. Accio. She grows strange onions again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um. Uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to her bonnet. Now, as I mentioned... I already have some, Professor. You've visited the Magic Neep. I've arranged for you to plant the seeds then. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Shop. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Disney will... You'll find that some plants are better suited to... Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? 
your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright, here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. I'm sorry, what do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove you. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmead and such. Dogweed. You get the. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I tended to the Chinese. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. I don't know why shops always are closed. Incendio. <laughs> Repair from the ministry regarding the school after the Accio. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he. He's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both. Discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. You must stir your cauldron in the correct direction. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze 
could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require... Come and see me when you've finished brewing. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you... He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm what... I suspect that's where I... You're... I simply need a single... I'll get you the Fuipafe. I assure you he won't. Wait... Well prepared, which was an always been the new. Incendio Akio. Precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! No! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather bit. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was sceptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grant pay... Now, I recommend that you find a safe location. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's ink.
fine job brewing your first Wiccan Weld potion. The last time I there are many potions yet. The toad right down is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I need to get some dragon hide gloves for her bollocks. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Uh, you there! Uh, yes, you! You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found, and it's... Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. A student never in the will kitchen. understand students. What could they want? Plenty of delicious. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how it certainly makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> it smells glorious in here. Hmm. 
Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get? So? Ah, see? It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Akio! Ah, you're back! No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finki sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak, uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You're what? Another breeze through my hair. Oh, sorry. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. If the headsman could only Repair him. A wonderful night for games. Uh, uh, who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Akio. Hello again. Not at all. Oh, why? Not just those. Are... If that's what I need to do to. Ma, remember the. G Begin! Keep huh? looking. You're sure to find him. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, Jack Daw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Oh, what fun! That ghost said I should blast away to my heart's content. Akio! I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Who would have thought the mortal would be so good at this? You almost got him. I've never seen it played like this. Incendio. 
Young Jackdaw's no match for you. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Akio! You might be something you're not supposed to be. I've never seen a clade like this. How delightful. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Yeah, no, no, no. 